Welcome to Maine, where clean water, farm fresh ingredients, and the creativity of rugged souls combine to create craft beer, spirits, and fine wines known around the world. With well over 100 craft breweries, distilleries, and wineries open in Maine, there's so much opportunity to create a tailored adventure in every corner of this great state. Join us each week as we meet the makers and toast to the economic impact that the craft beverage scene is having in our state. Cheers from Maine. Hello everyone, I'm Dan Tilton with Skowhegan Savings Bank and we are proud to be the presenting sponsor of Cheers from Maine. We're excited to show you the craft brewing, distilling and wine industry here in Maine and the positive economic impact these industries are having on our state. At Skowhegan Savings Bank, we've been helping Mainers with their banking needs for over 150 years. Whether you're looking to buy your first home, open a new checking account or grow your business, we're here for you. So please stop in at one of our 12 locations throughout the state of Maine. We would love to see you. Cheers from Skowhegan Savings. Maine is a big state full of nooks and crannies, views, lakes, mountains, and bold coastlines just waiting to be explored. If you have a sense of adventure, openness to try new things, and a desire to hit the road, then you and me will get along great. After 10 years spent traveling around the state, I've learned that nothing pairs better with local beer than some outdoor adventure. So join me as I head around the state visiting breweries for great beer and outdoor adventures. All right, no cell phone reception. We're in the middle of the woods. It's a beautiful day here in Stowe, Maine at the Deer Hill Mineral Collecting Site. You may not know, but Maine has gemstones right here under our feet. We're gonna try digging today. Never done this before. We've got our hammer. We've got a few other tools. We'll see how it goes. You're gonna join me for the adventure. Let's go check it out. So I'm looking for things that are a little green, a little blue, something a little shiny. Certainly hard to tell in the dirt here, but I'm gonna keep looking. It's like when you go to a brewery and somebody offers you a kind of beer you've never tried before. Sometimes you just have to give it a go. This is the one, Johnny, I'm feeling lucky. Let's see what we can find here. All right, guys, well, I think that's gonna be the last scoop. Let's head down, rinse these rocks off, and see if we found anything interesting. Oh, looks like quartz, still kind of neat. All right, I've got some treasures. I'm heading home, but there's just one stop I wanna make on the way home. Right around the corner from here, we have Fluvial Brewing in Harrison. Come join me for Beer with a View. Hi, I'm Lisa. And I'm Sean. Welcome to Fluvial Brewing. Or the meeting of Fluvial is found in a river. Um, Sean and I met years ago as whitewater rafting guides. Um, and so we took that part of our life um, into this brewery business as we started our adventure. So we're a small brewery, but we, um, we tend to have anywhere between eight and 12 different tap lines going at any given time. Um, I think we're really unique um, because I feel like all of our beers taste very different. So we brew some really light stuff like Maple Ridge Pale Ale. We get into some heffies, which are, you know, just great summer crushing beers. If you're gonna come here on a Saturday, you're gonna see the parking lot is typically full. People coming from all over New England. You're gonna see in the afternoon some acoustic music playing, people relaxing outside, having a great beer. And just oftentimes people get in here and they start to look out and they come in the front door, they don't know what to expect or they pull in the parking lot and they're a little bit hesitant because uh, it can be a little chaotic in the parking lot. And then they walk through the front door and they're blown away. Lisa greets everybody with a big smile or somebody from our staff, welcome to Fluvial. They go out back and just a look of relaxation and, and, and family and kids running around typically and just having a great time. So, 
I was telling you guys, I was just over at Mineral Hill digging gems. Now, question mark if I found any. I know my four-year-old is gonna think I found gems for sure, but you guys have raised a family over here. So if you're over in the Lakes region, you're visiting Fluvial, maybe you don't wanna dig gems. What else could you do around here? Yeah, so we have a really awesome local park, Crystal Lake Park, that has a playground and you can swim. Um, our kids love the you know, acreage of hiking trails all around us. Um, you guys connect to conservation land here, is that right? Yeah, so we connect to Lunoka Land Trust, which is 365 acres of uh, land reserved for recreational purposes. So you can take your kids hiking, you can go down by the Crooked River um, in the winter time. A lot, of, a lot of our customers come right off the mountain with their kids, right? So, and sitting by the fire, roasting s'mores, mm. there's lots to do. Awesome, that sounds good. Well listen guys, you have found an awesome place to raise a family, an awesome place to build a brewery. This is an incredible backyard. From ours to yours. Cheers. I'm Don Littlefield of Maine Brews Crews. For 10 years now, we've been using our brew bus to bring thousands of thirsty guests to learn about Maine's incredible breweries, wineries, and distilleries. For our tours, we have to stay up to date on all of the new businesses that are opening up around the state. I want to share that knowledge with you. Hop on board and join me to find out about the new kids on the block. Today we take you to Androscoggin County. The town of Lisbon Falls, Maine is very connected to one particular beverage, Moxie, the official soft drink of Maine. Now this town also has local beer from Olive Pit Brewing to enjoy and celebrate as the first brewery in the town is now open and it's 100% women owned and operated. Welcome to Olive Pit Brewing Company in Lisbon Falls. Um, I actually had the idea first and then started making beer. Um, I decided there was a niche that needed to be filled in Maine. Love the tasting room experience, but um, there was such a focus on hops forward beers uh, that I recognized that we had a, a we were missing that malt forward emphasis. Uh, and so decided, hey, I can do this and I'm going to fill that niche. I started home brewing in December of 2018. So I decided to locate in Lisbon because I actually live here in Lisbon Falls. Uh, I did think a lot about do I want to be on the coast where there's more tourist traffic, do I want to be in town? And when I kind of ran the idea by people in the town, uh, they were so enthusiastic and so supportive and uh, so I just, I live a half a mile away from here and it's worked out really well. So Olive Pit Brewing Company, we are named after my pit bull, Olive. Um, who our world pretty much revolves around her, uh, but her name actually comes from uh, our favorite soccer player. But we have uh, an IPA and one other hoppy beer on tap, and otherwise we have a lot of uh, variety of a lot of other beers uh, that you know we just really want to provide a full spectrum and try a, a lot of different beers, the making process of different stuff, and have all kinds of different options for people to try. Yeah, we've got a lot of regulars already. Uh, definitely uh, great reception from the town. People have been very enthusiastic. And uh, while we are known for uh, a particular soda, and that's been the focus of this town, um, we actually do have a brew that we make with Moxie because we had to be you know, part of that if we're in the home of Moxie. So we have a Moxie Porter that um, is a big hit. So our hours are um, Wednesday through Friday, 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. and Saturday we're open noon to 9 p.m. Uh, we will uh, be in July opening on Sundays as well from noon to 5. Uh, and then we're hoping that business demands will cause us to increase those hours in the near future. Our slogan here at Olive Pit is our beers don't bite. I hope you've enjoyed this look into one of Maine's newest craft producers. For more information about all of the new openings in the state, visit these websites and cheers from Maine Brews Crews. I am so proud to be part of a family that is committed to helping our communities. Each day our Skowhegan Savings Team is dedicated to holding out our values of integrity, teamwork, being privileged to serve, and being straightforward with our customers. It's why we look forward to coming to work each day and why the Skowhegan Savings Foundation is investing in workforce development for tomorrow's workforce. As part of being straightforward, I have an open door policy. I will take your calls or you can come visit me in Skowhegan and I can explain how the bank really helps our communities. Dan, I'm so excited to be here in Farmington. There's so much to do in all four seasons. Yeah, they've got it all here in Farmington, from the trails to the ski slopes, to the shops downtown, to the breweries. It's an exciting place to be. 
Let's go get started at Northern Lights. Let's do it. Hello everyone, my name is Mike Greenlaw, the manager here at Northern Lights. We are a ski, bike and paddle sports retailer, also specializing in home hearths uh, specialty products. So Northern Lights was started by Tom Upham, who still lives in the, in the Farmington area back in 1974. And we've been doing skis, bikes and wood stoves ever since. It's been great serving the local community for their cycling needs and ski needs is is a lot of fun it's fun to work with people coming in the store and also working with people on the other side of the business too with their home heating needs so here at northern lights we specialize in all different types of cycling from mountain biking to road cycling and now we're seeing an uptick in in gravel bikes and we're a full service shop so we service all makes and models not just what we sell but also big box store bikes uh, to make sure those are operating smoothly and safely there's actually still people to come in that don't even realize we're a bike shop or a ski shop so it's really nice to see their reaction and, and for them to learn that you know we can not only sell them a new bike but also service uh, bikes that they have and keep those running uh, we have a number of accessories that they also like to look at clothing apparel bike accessories from headlights tail lights to bottle cages at Tickham Mountain our local mountain they offer mountain biking trails and they can meet everybody's uh, skill level. We have, there's beginner friendly trails to advanced level trails and they're currently working on a an actual enduro light downhill trail. Really with everything that we offer we're pretty steady year round. Uh, we, we transition right from bikes into skis and then once ski season wraps up we're moving back into bikes. I was born and raised in Farmington. I've lived here my whole life uh, so for me living here with everything the community has to offer is, is just what I really love and enjoy. Um, after a good bike ride or pre-bike ride, heading down the tumble down for a brew is, is great. Uh, Matt has brew on tap for after ride or you can pick up some cans to have trail side when you wrap up your ride. Uh, Matt Swan is the founder and owner of Tumble Down Brewery. Uh, he actually used to work here at the shop. Uh, so it's, it's really cool to see him take what he started in his basement and, and see it come to fruition. For you guys to try out, I would recommend the Kona Mahuna. It is a you know, mid-level mountain bike, 29-inch wheel, uh, front suspension, one-by drivetrain, so simplicity, and plenty of gear range in the back for any climbs you might you know, come across on your ride. So what do we say, take them outside and give them a try. Dan, I'm ready to kick your butt all the way to tumble down. Oh, bring it on, let's do all it. All right. Quick uh, to do on the bike. Yes. Left side is your left brake, so that's your front brake. Yeah. Right side controls the rear, so you have your rear brake and your shifter. So push with your thumb to climb up for less resistance, and you can reach over, click with your index finger to drop down for greater resistance. Any questions? Oh, I think I got it. Okay. I'm quick, good to go. Quick race across the parking lot. Loser buys the first round at tumble down. Ready? Go! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Kate with Make-A-Wish Maine. For 30 years now, Make-A-Wish has been granting life-changing wishes for children battling critical illnesses here in Maine. Our supporters, volunteers, and community partners join forces to bring hope to Wish Kids and their families when it is needed most. Wishes provide kids the opportunity to visit someplace magical, the chance to meet their hero, the ability to have something they never thought possible. To learn more about how you can join us in making wishes possible, visit our website at maine.wish.org. Hi, I'm Matthew Swan. I am the owner and head of brewing operations here at Tumbledown Brewing in Farmington, Maine and I am super excited to talk with you folks about everything we do here at Tumbledown Brewing. Tumbledown Brewing started in 2014. I had been home brewing for about 10 years before that in my home, in my garage. Uh, went from small messes to bigger messes to even bigger messes and my wife finally said enough is enough. Uh, I also had enough people saying that my beer was so good they really wanted to see it out in the world on, at market. So they peer pressured me into opening a brewery. 
When Tumbledown started in 2014, we had about five beers and we were brewing on a four barrel system. Uh, we actually found the beer or the brewing system here right in Farmington from an older brewery that used to be here, which is a really neat aspect. We didn't have to go far for it. Uh, since then, we've upped our beer library to about 20 different beers. They're not always all on tap. We rotate through them throughout the year, but we're brewing about that many. Uh, we now have eight on tap plus a hard seltzer and a non-alcoholic hoppy water. So we've grown quite a bit from that four barrel system up to the seven barrel system we're on now. What's great about Farmington is you can go right down the road go mountain biking or kayak down the Sandy River, and then when you're done, come over here, have a beverage, hang out with friends, and relax after your various adventures. So a few things that we do to give back to our community, which is very important to us, is we do a lot of collaborations. One we did that hits really close to home for me because I'm a ski patroller, is we teamed up with a few various businesses to create In The Horns IPA, and we donated a dollar per can to the main region of the National Ski Patrol. I like to call us a small and mighty operation. Uh, we pack as much as we can in a really small space, and so in order to do that, you can look around and there's a lot of things on wheels. Um, we have five fermenters of various sizes. We've got a mash tun and a kettle, which are actually both repurposed dairy tanks. So I'm able to uh, reuse some old equipment. It helped get me into larger equipment without spending the enormous amounts of money on brand new equipment. Uh, super simple brewing process. You've got the grain, which you mill, you put it in one tank to extract the sugars out of it. Then it goes into the kettle to get boiled down. You add the hops in the kettle. Cool the wort off, which is that hot liquid. Goes into a fermenter with yeast where it bubbles away. Uh, if it is a beer like the Hopper Dropper, we add two extra doses of hops in the fermenter at different stages. It adds that super fruity, hoppy flavor and aroma to it. Uh, once it's done in the fermenters, it gets packaged into cans or kegs. Speaking of cans, the Hopper Dropper can is one of my favorites with the brook trout on it. And speaking of that free beer, that is my choice. So I hope you got some on tap. We do. Hopper Dropper is kind of a throwback to a fishing term. And I do a lot of fishing, so had to have that fishing beer. That's great. Dan and I both love to fish. So let's go try that Hopper Dropper. Let's right. do it. Yeah. Sounds good. Here it is, that hard-earned hopper dropper. Thank you, Victoria. Thank you, Matt, for showing us around Tumble Down. Absolutely. Cheers from Farmington. Cheers, cheers. Cheers. Hi, this is Jaeger from Berlin City Auto Group. We believe that our community is stronger when we face challenges together. Over the past year, we were able to raise $71,000 for 25 schools across New England. These grants went to special teachers and classrooms to support a variety of needs. Some as simple as clothing and boots to outdoor activity center and even the self-sustaining lettuce farm. To learn more and nominate your school, visit BerlinCity.com. At Aristotle, we specialize in bra fit, so we work with women on a one-on-one -on -one basis to provide them comfortable, well-fitting bras for their everyday life, as well as for those moments of fun. And although someone might look at this store and what we do and think, oh, it's just a lingerie store, I challenge you to think about what lingerie is in completely different terms. Because for a woman, it's the first layer she puts on her body every day and it's going to set the tone for not only how she goes about her day, but how she feels about herself. And that's always gonna have a ripple effect in her life and the lives of her loved ones and those that she reaches every day.
On this episode, we've traveled all over the state, introducing you to new places and activities, and now it's time to eat. Whether you're catching a game, playing trivia, or meeting up with some friends for some bites and brews, these bars are hopping. Hi, this is Keely from the Farmhouse Beer Garden in Farmington, Maine. Welcome. We opened in July of 2020. My husband had done a beer garden for me in New Jersey, where we've moved from, and uh, had a couple of good parties and just the beer garden was kind of his thing. He just thought it'd be a great idea. And they sell so much good beer here. We're not a typical bar, not just a typical bar. We do have an indoor area inside of our barn. We call it our barely indoor dining. And it's really great for hosting parties, having a private place to hang out with your friends. But the beer garden is really where it's at for us. You order right here. You order your beer and food and grab your beers and we bring all your food out to you. Everything's got a name. It's all towns from Maine. We've got Mexico and uh, Hope, Friendship, Rome, and so that we remember where everybody's sitting. <laughs> uh, we've got live music every Saturday night. Cornhole, we've got cornhole for everybody to play and hang out. Everything here is like gluttonous. It's, it's beer, it's great pizza, and Gifford's ice cream. It's, it's really what it's about. It's about everything that makes everybody feel great. We've got 24 different craft beers from mostly Maine on draft. I've got anyone from uh, Bigelow, we've got Tumble Down, which is down the street. We've got um, Orno, Tubular is great, Mass Landings, Gunner's Daughter, psh, hands down, best dark draft. Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, the community of Farmington has been incredible. I, we couldn't have done it without them. The farmhouse really is the only place that I go to. Uh, the food's great, uh, the drinks are amazing, and the people are just top notch. You're driving down Route 24, and it's really hard to not notice the place. It kind of catches you and it brings you in. And being up here, I moved up here about five years ago, nothing like this existed in this area. So for them to come in and do this experience that we call the farmhouse beer garden, it was phenomenal. Again, it draws you in and it keeps you here. And that's the next part. My favorite part is when I'm here and I look around, I'm sure you've had other people tell you this, it's a culture thing. And I'm a culture person about experiences. You have everything from little kids running around to you know grandparents and everyone sharing that same experience. And you just don't have a lot of those type places anymore. So very special. It's become like my place and my go-to place. I always love coming here. Hi, my name is Gina. I'm the general manager here at the Farmhouse Beer Garden in Farmington, Maine. I'm here to show you some of the awesome new things we've added to our menu that Keely mentioned before. Classic pizza is some of everybody's favorite. Um, we brought the farm boards now, something a little nicer to the table, as well as the bruschetta and a bunch of other new stuff we've added to the menu. If you guys ever stop by and take a look. We have the Farmhouse Hawaiian is one of pizza that we didn't have last year. We all really felt like pineapple does in fact go on pizza. I'm a professional. So we also have a classic pepperoni. We have little cupperonis that people just love, as well as a classic margarita, with fresh mozzarella and basil and fresh tomato. And this is our lovely farm board right now. We have uh, candy mapled walnuts, fig jam, brie. Um, I'm, of course, I'm scratching the name of the prosciutto. It has tiny little salt crystals in it. It's amazing with a baguette and some crackers. And this is our house-made bruschetta that we do every day on a little baguette with a drizzle of balsamic vinegar. So these are just some of my favorites as well as staff favorites. Next time you're in the area, don't forget to stop by for a great beer and the best pizza. I invite everyone to the farmhouse to come and have some pizza. Look out for, I don't think that's poison ivy, but should I just get after it? Oh, we, I thought we were cutting, Cut, cutting to that. All right. Well, Matt, thanks for showing us around. Thank you for the hopper dropper. Victoria, thanks for buying. <laughs> Go. Oh no, oh no! <laughs> I gotta work on my takeoff. I'm not good at the takeoff. Are we doing it again? <laughs> 